Hi everyone, I am Ng Sun Jia, Microsoft MVP. Today, I would like to share with you about Journey to Azure Sentinel. Why we need to use Azure Sentinel? Azure Sentinel got four functions. First, collect. Second, detect. Third, analyze. The fourth is the orchestration for color. Azure Sentinel is active in four, uh, four different domains. The first one, collect. The core capability of any SIEM solution is receiving and collecting data from different sources in your envi environment. This includes appliance, server, networks, device, computer device, and end user activity. While running in an Azure public cloud, Azure Sentinel can collect information from sources, whether running in a public cloud, private cloud, or on-premise infrastructure. Detect one of the key strains of Azure Sentinel that it is backed by Microsoft Security Cloud and Machine Learning for Data Analytics. It is capable of detecting threat that were never detected before. From the information and intelligence received from all Microsoft Cloud systems, Azure, Office 365, Windows 10, Dynamic 365, Xbox, Upload.com, and so on. Microsoft has a rather good view on what is going on and going wrong on the internet. Any detect threat is reported to Azure Security Center and Azure Sentinel within sec second or minutes. The third, analyze. Based on all received information and launching, a powerful cloud-based analysis engine kit in real time, assisting in analyzing and investigating all sources of information, together with the Detection Engine, it provides near real-time security feedback about your cloud and hybrid infrastructure. Orchestration Azure Sentinel is capable of responding to threat using built-in orchestration and automation which optimize the overall security handling of the threat and reported issue, often without any IT admin involvement. Okay, Azure Sentinel also uh, had a five features. There is Azure Sentinel Analytics, Handling Cases, Hunting Security Threat, Azure Sentinel Notebook, and Azure Sentinel Fusion. In the, in the next slide, it's about a demo. I will show, I will, uh, I will show you how to enable the Azure Sentinel and so and uh, some features of Azure Sentinel because because each Azure Sentinel features even got a sub features of the AV features. Okay, let's go for a demo. And the first step before we start, we always need to activate something. Yeah. At first, we need to enable the Azure Sentinel. Okay, log into the Azure portal. If you don't have, you can register with the Azure. Start for at the top of Azure Sentinel and click Add to set up Azure Sentinel workspace. After that, create create a new workspace. You could also add to an existing one if desired. Name your new workspace and place in the proper resources group. For, for the Azure Sentinel preview is currently is free. Microsoft state there will receive release pricing information at a later date. Be aware that you can still accuse charge with storage, throughput, and machine learning automation response. On the next page, click the new workspace you created and click at 
and Azure Sentinel. Okay, our new workspace create the getting started tab and you will see the overview of the setup. Okay, let's go for a setup Azure Sentinel data collection. Click on the con connect for step one. We will need to set up Sentinel to collect data from on-premise and cloud location. Out of the box, it looks like Sentinel can integrate with many data collection, including Azure Active Directory, Azure AD Identity Protection, Oath 3 Find, Microsoft Cloud Application Security, so and so on. Click through any you wish to set up. Each data collection plugin has step-by-step -step instruction. For example, the Azure Active Directory was just too easy click to connect the log. Some will be more involved and need you to point your current syslog file and uh, client install. Let's go for set up the Azure Sentinel dashboard. Once you have data collection set up, go to dashboard. Select the pre-made dashboard for new collector and click install on the bottom right. Okay, let's go for setup Azure Sentinel Analytics uh, rules. Select the analytics and then add. This is where where I noticed things get tricky. Microsoft does not appear to have a nice version of pre-made rules. Admins will have to create their own alert rules using the query system. The example for Microsoft is shown here. I really hope that create some built-in built -in best practice rules that can easily enable, but it appears that they plan to realize on the community session. Then after that, we click create. Then you will see this screen. Next, select the community tab under the configuration and select go to Azure Sentinel community. From this community GitHub, you can find many useful alert to set up in your Azure Sentinel preview. In conclusion, from here, we have Sentinel set up to collect data, view the dashboard, and trigger the alert. Enable Fusion. Fusion is the AI or machine learning portion of Sentinel designed to help analysts with alert fatigue. Open the cloud shell, select the PowerShell, create the storage, and authenticate. That's all for the demo. Here we my blog about the Azure security and and my YouTube channel. You can go to www.youtube.com slash c slash I will share a video about Azure security, which also related uh, link to with my blog. That's all for today. Thank you very much.